were, were you, when you came up here, were you pretty well-rounded, you know, as far as different kinds of music? Yes. Yeah, I had, I had started uh, learning about all kinds of different styles real early, like when I was about 13 or 14. And I started studying in St. Louis, and I had a few teachers uh, there. Bob Matheny and Joe Berger were really the, uh, the two that were responsible for the foundation yeah. of where I was doing their two local teachers in St. Louis who taught me how to read and taught me how to, you know, all the basic styles and everything. Mm -hmm. and, and I just, from that, I just probably, you know, took it upon myself to like do a lot of listening and a lot of copying. You did, yeah. yeah. A lot of, that's, that's how, well, that's how I started when I was really young. <coughs> I started playing when I was eight, mm -hmm. you know, and that's all I did was play records, mm -hmm. play to, uh, you know, rock and roll records like, the, you know, the Monkees, and then my dad got me into, like, uh, the straight ahead thing. The, the he a player, too? Thing. He's a piano player. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, so he was always turning me on to Pete Fountain, and Jack Sperling was the right. Pete Fountain. Jack is just, yeah, he was my number one influence. Is that right? First Sperling? starting yeah. for, for Straight Ahead. Yeah. I listened to him, and, uh, and then, of course, came Buddy and, and mm -hmm. things like that. But um, Sperling is great. Sperling's a dynamite. Yeah. I really, really, I've always loved the way he played. Did, that, did he ever like, inspire you to want to study double bass drums? No, I never really. I attempted... Uh, I attempted that once. I, I sat down and was messing around with it. Um, but I said, I just got so much stuff to do with, you know, with one bass drum. Yeah. Trying to trying to figure out, you know, actual foot coordination yeah. with, with the hi hat and stuff, and an actual technique just to play one drum. Mm -hmm. That um, and, and I like to use the hi hat too much. I like to do different things with the bass drum and the hi hat. Yeah. Um, you know different interacting rhythms with, with everything combined and uh, I'm getting into like just doing if I want the double bass drum sound to do stuff with the floor time of the bass drum 